We're doing more. Dreamfall, longest journey. We have to travel light, and we have to stay packed, just in case. Yes, travel light, stay packed. Naani joined my outfit only a few months ago, but she's proven to be a valuable asset. Her magic is very powerful. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we need to go and be super sneaky and figure out what that big giant column of light has to do with the tower thingy. I think I've scientifically brought up what we the have to do. So, child, did you find that person you were looking for last evening? What? Uh, oh, no, I... No. What's the matter? You seem distracted. I'm okay, Benrime. All right. Well, the day is getting on. If there's anything you need, come see me. Actually, Benrime, there is something. I'm confused. About what, child? I'm not sure what to do, and I... I would appreciate your advice. I see. Well, child, I'll do the best I can, though I'm no wise woman. What's wrong? I think something's going on. Something potentially bad. Something involving the balance between the twin worlds. Ah. Does this have anything to do with that nice young woman from Stark? Zoe, was it? It may. It does. But I can't tell you all the details. I don't even understand what's going on. I'm just worried that I might be involved somehow. I see, and you would prefer not to be involved. I've done my share for the balance, and I have more pressing concerns. People depend on me. Yes, they do. But that is no excuse. I'm not looking for excuses. I'm looking for answers. I want to... I need to know what I'm supposed to do this time. Such answers aren't always easy to come by, April. Often, we have to rely on faith alone to carry us through. Still, I understand that you want something more concrete than that, April. Very well. Here's my advice. You must speak with the Guardian of the Balance. I've thought the same thing, but it's impossible. I can't shift anymore, and even if I could, the Guardian's realm is closed to me. Maybe so, and maybe not. There is someone out there who might be able to help you. Who? An old friend of yours. The White of the Drake Kin. The White Dragon. You're right. If anyone can help me contact the Guardian, it's her. But I don't know where she is. She vanished just after she was born. You are April Ryan. I'm certain that someone in this city can help you locate her. Have faith in yourself. And in the balance. I had faith once, Benrime. Look where it got me. What's left of the person I used to be? I still see the same girl who walked through that door a decade past. I'm not her anymore. I don't even remember what she was like. Now I'm just... Well, I'll be damned. April Bloody Ryan. <laughs> I can't <laughs> Where'd believe Where'd she it. go? Who? Brian? Brian Westhouse? The very same. <laughs> God damn, I can't believe it's you. How the hell are you? Uh, the, hello, guy. What are you doing here? I thought you were dead. Likewise. You don't seem particularly pleased to see me again. I'm surprised is all. Where have you been? Oh, here and there. I've done a fair bit of traveling. Well, <laughs> more than a fair bit, to be honest. I... Rarely stayed in one place for more than a month. I guess the Tyran invasion got me thinking about the world outside of Mercuria and uh, life outside of the bottle. You could call it an awakening of sorts. Right. And. How did you manage to escape the Tyran? Blind luck. First off, stupid critters didn't find my house, and a couple of days later, a dinghy passed by and I was spotted. The captain gave me passage all the way to Coruscant. From there on out, I hitched a ride. Why do I have this feeling you're interrogating me? Because I am. I have to be careful, and bumping into you like this... It's easy to get paranoid and to be suspicious of coincidences. I don't believe in them. 
I used to think that fate and destiny was a load of hogwash. But I know better now. There's a reason we met today, April Ryan. Because you walked in the door. But I don't think you have anything to worry about. If I'm here for a reason, it's to help you. So what are you doing at the Journeyman? Just revisiting old haunts. And hoping to score a cup of Ben Rime's mulled wine, of course. How about yourself? Same thing. I'm in the city for only a few days. Well, even more fortuitous that we bumped into each other then. Sure. So you've been traveling for the past decade? I have, and I intend to keep traveling for the next decade or two, as long as I have my health. This world is fascinating. You look so much better since the last time I met you. Younger, healthier, happier. I do feel fantastic. I was bitter and angry back then. Angry at myself, at being stuck in this world. Now I don't see Arcadia as a prison anymore. I see it as an opportunity to grow and learn and experience. I'd forgotten why I crossed the Divide in the first place. I wanted to go where few had gone, where there were still untrodden paths. Losing my home, being forced to run, it was certainly an awakening, and one I sorely needed. Speaking of coincidences, maybe you can help me with something. Absolutely. What do you need? There's something going on, something that may be affecting both worlds. <laughs> Why, Ms. Ryan, you seem to get drawn into these things every time. Can you be any more specific? It's more a feeling than anything else, so I need to confirm my suspicions. Or... Preferably, disprove them. I need to speak with the Guardian. Who better to tell you if anything's happening with the balance? So, why not just shift there? I can't. I don't... I've lost the power to shift. But it was never that easy to get to the Guardian's realm in the first place. So to find the Guardian, I need a little help from someone else. The White Dragon. Oh, yes. I'd imagine she could give you some pointers. The problem is, I don't know where to find her. She could be anywhere. Not so. I may know where to find her. I met a fellow traveler, a Dolmari from the Rose Court, actually, on a ship from Gien to Irhad not long ago. He told me he'd been to the Dark People's Library. Not many people are allowed there, and it was a great privilege. While he was there, however, he said that he was introduced to a pale, white-haired woman who introduced herself as the White of the Dry Ken. Now, I don't know if she's still there or how you'll get to the Dark People's city, but it should at least get you on the right path. It does. Thank you, Brian. This is very helpful. But I don't trust you! It was good seeing you again. Are you staying long? Another week, perhaps. Enough time to visit friends and to pick up some things that I can't get elsewhere in this world. Then it's off to sea again. I've been thinking about heading east, perhaps convincing a whale rider to take me along on a hunt. Sounds exciting. Take care, Ryan. And you, Ms. Ryan? April. No. April. I have business with the innkeeper. Oh, he makes that sound bad. Hey, there you are, lady. So, how about it, Ben Rime? Do you have a cup or four of your mulled wine to spare for an old drunkard? As I remember it, Westhouse, you still owe me money on your tab from before the war. <laughs> My god, you have the memory of a stick man. Miss Salmon, I've honestly missed this place. Hell, you're probably right. I owed a lot of people money back then. Uh, seeing as I'm still a bit short on cash. You'll have to add this to my tab, but I'm coming into some gold tomorrow. Old debts repaid, so uh, I'll settle it then. That'll be the day the Azadi decide to just up and leave. Money first. Mulled wine after. You're a tough woman, and I respect that. Ah, uh, I, I have to tell you about this tavern I visited in a town near Altaban. Yeah, well, we could... Oh, I can't listen in it, wait. What? Which turned out 
<laughs> to be fermented pig's blood. <laughs> he couldn't he couldn't stand up straight for three days. <laughs> Southlanders. So you have visited Altaban and Mount Terba. I've been further south still, to the Capes and beyond. I tell you, if you think the winter here is harsh, you should count your lucky stars. There are lands beyond the South Sea that are frozen through both winter and summer. The sun is as cold as the moon down there. Well, I do not intend to leave Mercuria. There's enough foreigners here. No need to travel for months to find more of them. Let's see, do you talk about more pit blood? You've seen their empire? I have indeed. They will let anyone enter and stay in their lands just as long as you respect their customs and... As long as you're human, of course. <laughs> what is it like? Do they treat their own people as harshly as they do ours? I wouldn't know what the Azadi are like here in Mercuria, but in Sadir they were reserved but friendly, and as a man I had less freedom than a woman. Still, I encountered no animosity. People took me in, fed me, told me about their history and religion. I, I learned a lot. Whatever the Azadi have done here, they are not cruel or evil. They do put a lot of faith in their goddess and their empresses, yes, but it's heartfelt. Heartfelt. I'm sure. And they can have their empire. But what gave them the right to come here and impose themselves on us? Yeah, what gave them the right, asshole? So we need to go find a white-haired lady... Who knows about other thing? Oh, there's nothing in the journal. Nice. So we need to go find so to get into the dark, the dark library. I hope to see you again soon, Miss Ryan. Best of luck to you. And I have no idea how to do that. So let's just go outside and get lost, because that's what we do. Oh, hey. Oh, the theoretically blind guy isn't there. There's a little child. Hello, child. It's just a child. You are just a child. I don't understand how anyone could talk badly about the Azadi. I think the Azadi are brilliant. You sound like you're 40 years old. I think the Azadi are brilliant. I'm actually a little child. The Azadi have brought their steam technology to our carrier. And now everyone's installing these noisy machines. Balance knows what these things actually do. It does really spinny things. I don't know him. What can steam technology do for you? The question you should be asking is what can it do? And the answer is nothing. Haha, -ha, steam technology for your technology needs. Let's see. Oh. Oh, this is the uh the slums, the the magic enus place. Maybe someone down here can help He's me. He's Dolmari, and therefore he has to live inside the walls of the magic ghetto. Or he'll be arrested. In the ghetto. Conditions in the ghetto aren't bad, all things considered. We got food and water, and there's medicine and herbs for everyone. What we don't have is freedom. Freedom! There used to be thousands of Dolmari in Marquiri. Nowadays you'll only find them in Old Town. And there are few left. What do the Azadi want from us? Why have they stuck us in here? We haven't done anything to them, and we can't help who we are. They've kept the blue flame burning here in Old Town for a thousand years, apparently. Potions, it didn't even go out when the tyrant uh, held the city. Curiously shaped cookies. Is that Potions, you? Yeah, I was about to say, is herbs, that you? Curiously shaped cookies. Everything a wizard, witch, or warlock may require. Using only the finest organic ingredients, El Guan bladders, rat tails, dung. Yeah, dude, something tells me that's not normal Wait, fare. That man. He looks very familiar. Why am I thinking of moving stairways? Good God, Roper clacks. At your service, milady. What may I do for. Wait. I know you. Where do I know you from? April. April Ryan. Oh, uh, well... How lovely to see you. 
Say what? It's been too long, my dear. Too long. Uh, yeah. I guess it's been... long. What have you been up to? This and that. How lovely. Me? I'm rehabilitated. We can tell. We can tell. This was the dude that was in the tower in the first game where you had to like do the puzzles with the mirrors and stuff. It, <laughs> apparently he's gotten better. Rehabilitated? How so? Being soundly walloped by you was the best thing that ever happened to me. Really? Oh, yes. It gave me perspective. Time to think. When I finally escaped that confounding device, I joined WWWA. Uh... Wicked Witches and Warlocks Anonymous. It's a marvelous support group for wizarding professionals. <laughs> oh. Oh, it helped tremendously to find others who shared my, uh, affliction. Affliction? A desire for evil deeds and world domination, your basic, um, <laughs> EDWD syndrome. I see. <laughs> and now? Cured! I'm free of my desire to conquer and control, and I'm happy to be a simple merchant and published author. I guess that's a... a good thing. It is. It is indeed. So, April Ryan, is there anything I can do to help repay what you did for me? Um... Sure. Yeah. How did you get out? How did you get out of that calculator I trapped you in? I had to learn advanced trigonometry. After that, it was as easy as multiplying the root of pi with the volume of my mathematical prison. Oh, that sounds pretty complicated. It took me five years, but I gained some important personal skills in the process. I even had time to write a book, so it was all for the best. And what about this book? You said something about being an author? I published one. I wrote my memoirs a few years ago. Farewell to my Wizarding Days by Roper F. Clax. What's the F stand for? Nothing. It just looked better on the cover. <laughs> anyway, as it turned out, the first and only print run had a slight uh, problem. A small charm made its way onto page 108. When readers got to that page, the book, as uh, misfortune would have it, exploded. And you had nothing to do with that. Me? Absolutely not. I've been acquitted of all charges, and every single lawsuit has been dismissed in the magical court. I I'm quite innocent. It does mean, however, that only uh, one copy of Farewell to My Wizard in Days by Roper F. Clax exists, and uh, that would be mine. <laughs> I've decharmed it, and page 108 is quite safe to read now, I if you're interested. Not really, no. <laughs> <laughs> I actually do need some help. That's great! Anything to assist the woman who turned my life around. I'm looking for a way to get to the City of the Dark People. Visiting old friends, I take it? Your adventures are the stuff of legends, April Ryan? <laughs> By the way, did you ever read that pamphlet they published? The one with the amusing drawings, April Rye Bread and the Rod of Joy? <laughs> Unfortunately, no. <laughs> well, I'll never forget that illustration where the Dolmari lady takes the rod of joy and sticks it right... Anyway, about the Dark People City. <laughs> ah, yes. Uh, what do you plan on doing there? I need to visit their library. The library? Indeed. They are collectors, these Dark People. They collect all sorts of knowledge. Arcane, forbidden knowledge. 
<clears throat> anyway, as luck would have it, there's a shadow ship docked down in the harbor right now. I'm sure they'll let the famous April Rybra... I mean, April Ryan, I'm sure they will give you passage to their city. That's perfect, thank you. How do I get to the Dark People's oh, Library crap. again? They just need to talk. Okay. Oh, there's a shadow ship docked in Shady Quay. Thanks. At your service, milady. If you ever need a potion or a charm, visit Roper's Spells and Filters. <laughs> so we need to go and head to the dark. Now that we've learned that, let's go. But those good old clacks, we caught him in a calculator once. It was fun times. Apparently he got away. And started joined a support group for being evil! Evil! Wait, this way. Gotta go this way to the docks. I'm coming for you, old lady. Get out of the way! I'm not breaking my st- Oh, never mind. Okay, it's gonna load. Wait a minute. Where's- Why am I- Where's the docks? That's- That's actually a good question. I don't know why I ran this way. I don't know where the docks are. Huh. How about that? Okay. Do you know where the docks are? There are guards everywhere, I swear to God. The Azadi are paranoid, and with good reason. Um... Docks? Do you know where the ducks are? Quack! Quack! Uh-huh. No, 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 no. I didn't mean to do that. Alright, so... I actually have no idea where the docks are. That's a bad thing. So that leads to the slums. I wonder if there was another. Oh, you're just you're just looking. You're just you're just you're just watching what's going on. I talk to you. I'm thinking about moving back to the Southlands. For one, it's a lot warmer. Did you just speak to me with your mind? The powers of your brain. Alright, maybe there's another way through the slums that will lead to the docks. Yes, by all my goods, I have all the magical things you need. Maybe this way. To the docks? Uh, possibly. Aha! It is! Yeah, there's a boat, and there's death. You know, just chilling. Who does that? Just hangs out, looking like death. You know. Uh, you don't see a lot of zid in the cities, and they're even fewer these days. They prefer to stay in the mountains. But who are you? You don't see a lot of humans in the ghetto these days. I wonder if he's an Azadi spy. He is. The dark people are amazing. They're collectors, and they have a great library containing every book ever written. Oh. You've got a hook for a hand, sir. The captain. He looks a bit too relaxed, seeing as there are still supplies left to be loaded. How are things going? Most of the supplies are on board. We're missing a few crates of grains and vegetables, a delivery of potions, and some other bits and pieces. Good. Don't linger too long. The paperwork's already being processed by the Azadi. Those fools. If only they knew what... Shh! Not here. I don't think it's a good idea to tempt fate. <laughs> I didn't think you believed in that spiritual claptrap, Raven. Fate? Ha! We make our own destiny. Still, yeah. better we to make be our own side. destiny. You don't foresee any problems, then? Everything's in order. This ship's going to the islands. 
at least according to all the properly stamped and perfectly forged documents. I'll rest easy only when you've reached Safe Harbor. Don't fret. You'll rest easy soon enough. But you make it sound like I'm already getting on board. And that boat is very small. I mean, pretty small. It's up, Death. I'm just chilling. I'm gonna, I'm gonna see who you are. Hello. You, uh... Whatever you are. Samare. I thought they didn't like the ocean. Maybe she's curious. It's one of the dark people. A dark person. He's probably a shadow god. The captain of that shadow ship. Hello. I want you to have, like, the dumpiest voices. Hello, I am the Shadow Man. I seek passage to your city. I wish to visit the library. We are here to trade and to collect. That's not bad. We do not take on passengers. Oof. Hello. Oh. Um. Sure, let's just... A long time ago, I sailed on one of your ships, and I met one of your people. He called me a wave. Not many of your kind would lay claim to such a title. I'm not laying claim to anything. I'm just telling you what he told me. If you were a wave, we would grant you passage. But all I see is a human. Ah. One of the dark people. I'd like to ask for passage again. We do not take on passengers. So... I'm sure we can come to some sort of understanding. We cannot. We do not take on passengers. Ever. You did once. A long time ago, I was given passage on one of your ships. Then you were fortunate. It does not happen very often. Hmm. So we need to figure out how to become a wave. We're gonna we, we, we wave. I'd like to ask for passage again. We do not take on passengers. Uh, but I'm gonna keep bugging you until you let me. I'll pay you good money for passage. We do not crave money, human. We crave so what do you want? We are here to find new additions to our library. Someday it will be complete and we can sleep. Until then, we travel and we collect. So what I'd like do to you ask need for passage for your again. Library? We do not take on passengers. I would have plead, just be like, ah, please. I'm desperate. I need to get to your city, to your library. I'm looking for someone. There are no humans in the city. Rarely is anyone allowed to visit our forest. Not a human. Someone else. The white of the drag kin. I know of no such creature. You should look elsewhere. Liar! Liar! So we need to become a wave. Again. I don't know how. That's gonna be interesting. The Delmari have had it especially tough after the Asadi came, seeing how integrated they were in Mercurian society. So we need to figure out how to become a wave again or something. I'd give my right arm and my left to see the fabled library of the Dark People, but they won't let me go with them to their city. Right. Show me a man who reads, and I'll show you a man of reason. Deprive man of literature, and you deprive him of life. Huh. Okay, can you help me out? We're on schedule, Raven. We should be out of here soon, bound for the Bay of Fire. The Bay of Fire. <laughs> fire. Alright, so that's our boat guy. But we need to go see the library. We need to become a wave. This is the very odd mix of things we need to do. I wonder if Mr. Potion Man can help me. Can you help me become what I once was? April Ryan. What can I do for you? Oh, wait. Oh, I can find Will them something they don't have. you parting with that book of yours? Oh, I don't know. I, it's the last remaining copy, you know. All the other copies spontaneously combusted. I'm aware of that, but I need something to get me passage on that shadow ship down in Shady Quay. You believe my book would help with that? Maybe. The Dark People collect books, and yours is quite unique. Isn't that so? It is. It is. 
Wouldn't you consider it an honor to have your first published novel become a part of the greatest library in Arcadia? Hmm. I would. I would indeed. Wait, I have it right here. I carry it with me always. <laughs> there you go. Treat it with care. Don't let it get wet. Don't uh, feed it red meat. And uh, for the love of the balance, do not hold it upside down when there's a full moon. Oh, but... Never again shall I glance upon the top ten reasons why you should not build a flying castle on page 42 and smile knowingly. <laughs> <laughs> But think about it. Thousands of people will get to enjoy your unique outlook on life. Your book will be part of something much, much greater. You're right. Of course, you're right. Go on, take it away, or I shall become emotional. And when a wizard weeps, the whole world weeps with him. Oh, the humanity, the humanity. So we need to get a book. Now we have a way under the ship. That'll take us... Or, yeah, passage to the library or the city to speak to the white of the giant kin so we can find the way to the guardian's realm and then, you know, just be like, hey, boss, things be great, yo. You want this book? You know, you want this book. Oh, okay, I can't give you the book yet. You collect books, isn't that right? We collect all that is written and recorded. Books, scrolls, stones, crystals, history, poetry, journals, stories, from the first word to someday the last. Until our collection is complete, we will continue to travel, to trade, and to collect. I guess the last existing copy of a rare book would be pretty important to you. It would be, unless we already possess it. You don't. Not this one. Farewell to my wizard in days by Robert F. Clax. I will speak with my brothers at the library. Oh. This is a book we do not have. We need it for our library. Will you part with it? For a price. I need to get to your city. Show me the book so that I can see for myself. Do not take it from me. I will hurt you. It's one of the dark people. Oh, no. What? A dark person. Very well, human. This book is of value to us. We will grant you passage on our shadow ship. Thank you. When do we leave? Very soon. We await only the last deliveries from our suppliers. Step aboard. Um. Wait, the rock is the ship? Oh, you we're sure a you ninja! Want to eat? I can order in. I'm not very hungry. Thanks, though. All right. Some coffee? Tea? No, thanks. I have, um, whiskey. I'm fine, Damien. Really. All right. So, what do you think? I think you shouldn't believe a word of what that man told you. He was trying to get inside your head. There's no proof that anything's happened to Reza. I hope you're right. If I've come this far, and it turns out Reza's... Stop it. There's nothing to be gained from imagining the worst. He must be very important to you. Reza, I mean. He is. Reza was my best friend for so long, and I was totally in love with him. When that feeling went away... I don't love him any less, but it's different now. I don't know what's going on with me. I've just... I've lost faith. Not just in him. In everything. School, my friends, my hobbies, my future. Reza. Nothing seems to matter that much anymore. And that's why, when Reza went missing, I knew I had to go after him. Not just because he's my friend, and not just because I love him. But because if I didn't, then who would I be? What would I be? I may not like the Zoe I'm turning into, but I would have hated the Zoe who just abandoned her best friend like that. So, yes, he's very important to me. Of course. And right now, more than anything in the world, I want him to be okay. 
So, uh, that man? The one in the garden? He acted like he's behind the whole thing. Like he controls Watty Corp. I've heard rumours, but I've never actually believed. I think his name is Alvin Peets. Peets? The guy who founded Watty? He'd be several hundred years old, but uh, in a way, it still makes sense. It's a sort of urban water cooler legend. Whatever happened to Alvin Peets? No one knows. But there are lots of theories. Some say they've heard he's been kept alive by machines, and that he still controls Watercorp. It's the kind of thing you have a good laugh at. He wasn't just hooked up to a machine, Damien. He looked like he was a machine. At least partly so. And he was just... Oh, evil. Sad, pathetic and hateful. He claimed that we were stealing his senses. I think he was actually afraid of me. From what you told me earlier, it sounds like he's completely dependent on the wire. The static must be scaring the hell out of him. If he needs the wire to see and hear, he's completely lost without it. I just don't feel safe anymore. He knew who I was. He's been inside Reza's dreams. He has spies everywhere. Cameras, bots. Don't worry, Zoe. He won't find you here, I promise. I'll check around tomorrow, see if I can dig up any information on Pete's. <sighs> you must be tired. I'm keeping you up. I'm sorry. I'm just... Yeah, I am quite tired. I guess I should find a hotel and figure out what to do next. Thanks for the clothes, Damien. I'll... Hey, no, 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 there's no need to find a hotel. You can stay here. I, I mean, if you're comfortable with that. I can sleep on the floor. Oh, you really don't have to. I know, but you've been through a lot, and you're helping me out, so the least I can do is let you sleep in my bed. <laughs> um, no, um, that didn't come out right. You know what I mean. <laughs> Thanks, Damien. If you're okay with me staying here, I will. Okay, so, um, let me get the bed ready for you. That's okay. I can... Um, yeah. Uh, just, um, well, uh, I guess you can give me a hand. This is the most awkwardness okay. yes. thing Great. I've seen. Uh, by the way, if I'm gone when you wake up tomorrow, uh, don't be alarmed. I have to be at the office quite early. Oh, uh, that's okay. I'll be fine. I'll just stay here. Good. Let me find you a sheet and a cover. Awkward smile. Fade to black. And now we're back here again. This is it, Apostle. The Empire's greatest achievement east of Sadir. The giant a penis. to our might and to our faith. Even in Sadir. There is nothing that can compare to this. Why was it built so tall? You're asking the wrong man. I don't question the infinite wisdom of the Six. I have absolute faith in their decisions. Of course, as do we all. Go right inside, Apostle. The Emissary is expecting you. And we will go right inside next time on Dreamfall, Longest Journey. Yeah, sorry my car didn't have much commentary. There was a lot of talking. Lot of talking. Got you through the camera. Uh, I'm gonna get you. Gonna get you. Gonna gonna get you. So next time we will go into the tower, the big giant tower of penis, and see what the little person in there has me do. I'm gonna kill somebody if I remember right. You know, usual stuff. I'm gonna take my hockey stick and smack them around. So till then, friends, y'all take care. And of course. Have a good one.